Hi guys, today we have Volvo D13 engine and we'll be working on EGR cooler. The customer keep losing um, coolant all the time. We did pressure test, we don't see anything inside. I mean, any, anything outside. But he said he did, he did inspect the EGR cooler. Uh, in other shop they put camera in, but he didn't have time to replace it. So he came to us. We will remove everything around. It will be more accessible to record. Stay tuned. Typical procedure when you're working with coolant, of course you have to drain it. The drain plug is right there at the bottom, already connected. We'll be removing all the pipes. We'll try to do it. We'll try to remove as minimum as we can. We'll start with the clamp. Seventh injector, uh, whatever is around here, these pipes, of course, this one has to go. And uh, for these two bolts, you have to remove them all the way. Two bolts on the back, you just loosen because the turbo kind of slides in. It has a cut on the back. I'll show you later. And you have to remove all this stuff to get to EGR cooler because there is absolutely no way to do it without removing turbo. Guys, don't ever touch these bolts. If you don't need to replace injector, don't touch them. They snap like no other. Also, when you work on turbo, try to cover spots like this, put a rug or something to keep it clean inside. Right now, pretty much everything is out. We're going to deal with these two bolts. These two and two on the back and the whole turbo should come out. Those are usually fun to deal with. It's 14 mil. And they are tight, they're always super tight. They also snap, so be careful and wish us luck too. <laughs> Here we go. That's good. I guess we were lucky here. Sometimes those bolts are hassle. Remember guys, uh, those back bolts you don't have to remove, you just have to loosen them. And then the whole turbo slides out. They are a little tricky there. Hard to get, but shouldn't be too hard. 
the best way to reach that bolt is with this kind of wrench. Um, we tried with the ratchet, it wouldn't work. You don't have enough leverage to move it. But with this kind of wrench, it's much easier. See, you have enough to pull it and unscrew it. And other side on the back, that back bolt, is the best way to remove with the flex head ratchet. Just giving you some tips so you don't have to hustle around trying to match everything. It's pretty heavy. I forgot to mention one more pipe. It's um, right there under the turbo. It's hard to show it. That one, right there. But that one you just pull out. It just it just comes out when you try to pull the turbo up. It should come off. It doesn't have anything, any bolts or anything. Got it out. That's how it looks. And this is the pipe I forgot to mention to you guys. It doesn't have anything there to hold. It just comes out like that. It's going to be a hustle to put it back in. And now we can work on the jar. Now it's just a few bolts and nuts. There is a plastic pipe inside here. It's a common problem too. It leaks in a lot of Volvos and to replace that little pipe and it's probably like around $30 <laughs> but to replace it you're gonna have to do the same procedure just to fix that coolant leak right here. Hey, clamp removed, had to heat them up really good, they wouldn't come out, so keep that in mind. And now it's, I think it's ready to go. This hose com comes new with the new EGR cooler, so don't worry about that. This is the coolant. It leaks inside the EGR. One of the walls burns out and it leaks the coolant in the system. That's how you have a leak that you don't see. It goes inside into exhaust. Did 
This is the pipe I was talking about. The plastic gets weak and uh, it cracks and it starts leaking. And to replace it, you have to pull out the whole thing. That's how it looks without the jar. I had a funny situation once with this plug a while ago. A mechanic replaced it, replaced the holy jar cooler and forgot that it doesn't, the new one does not come with it. It's empty. And it's almost impossible to put it back on when everything is installed, so we had to struggle there. So make sure you don't forget that this plug, you have to get a new one or you have to remove it and put it on a new EJR cooler. We got the part we were missing. Uh, it didn't come as a kit with the new EJR, so we had to get it separate. That's the pipe I was talking about, the plastic one. And now we're just gonna put everything back together. The process is pretty much the same as removing it just uh, backwards. I won't waste your time here. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in comments below. And I hope you enjoy the video.